My God, man. Just the sheer amount of match quality that we've had up to this point is mind-boggling. And judging by the fact that these two have had some very good matches as well in the past, you have to wonder what's going to happen. And it's for the World Heavyweight Championship, too. Daniel Bryan, man. What, what, what is said, what hasn't been said about this guy? A man that loves wrestling, a man that this game is pretty much based off of when it comes to the showcase mode, which is actually very enjoyable to play. You know? It's just, you, you see his journey and what he went through in the indies and in NXT, being fired, rehired, having to, like, pretty much make the fans join him in be being in the main event of WrestleMania 30 and only for that to be taken away from him for a few years with a neck injury and once again he fights for, for he fights for gold excuse me and it's against AJ Styles a man that he's faced in real life but it's for the World Heavyweight Championship one of the most prestigious titles in EBCW history a lineage that goes as far back as DDP, goes as far back as Stone Cold Steve Austin. And of course, you can even throw Lars Sullivan's name in there because he was champion for a hot minute. But since winning it back, AJ has had a up and down road. He's, I think he's actually faced Daniel Bryan in a match off camera. I'm not really sure if I recorded that one, but he, you can see AJ AJ uh, was defeated because this match wouldn't be happening if it wasn't. So, and of course, the loss to Randy Savage, who is partaking in the Money in the Bank ladder match later on this evening, or later on, I should say, in this uh, in the week. But AJ Styles has had the title taken away from him after one month before. He's not, about, he's not about to let it happen to him again. No matter how hard... And, and, the, and the other thing is... You really didn't think he would be champion again. Because that Steel Cage match at Extreme Rules... That Steel Cage match at Extreme Rules... Excuse me, my enunciation is a little off. He, uh... I went on record saying there's no way he's going to win. And what happens? He wins and becomes champion. Again. So if he can do that, he might be able to have a chance in beating Daniel Bryan. We'll find out. But like I said before, the match quality in this pay-per-view has already been insane. From the very first match, which was the Intercontinental Championship, in which Seth Rollins won the championship. And then the back-and-forth matchup for the U.S. title, which Shelton Benjamin won. And so far... The only champions to retain their titles is the Undisputed Era. From Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 210 pounds, Daniel Bryan. Oh, there's the S chant. <laughs> I was like, is he going to do the animation for the yes when, he get, when they introduce him? And he did. Haha. <laughs> You know, side note, as AJ Styles holds this championship, guy is really into streaming. I follow him on Instagram, and literally every single post, it's him streaming. I don't know if he's playing video... I guess he's playing video games or some shit. I guess he's a big gamer, which is dope as hell, but still. I mean, holy shit. My man's like, just... Going on, it's like going on to say, Hey, it's the phenomenal AJ Styles. I'm gonna be on Miss Mixer or YouTube or Twitch, whatever, streaming God knows what. And uh, you know, you should you know, you should uh, watch on Twitch or YouTube is Ed0626. That's what he should that's what he should fucking say. I mean, he's putting me over, he's making me lose big matches, but he's putting me over in commentary when it comes to the championship. 
I mean, after all, he is the uh, current world heavyweight champion. Of course, a very slow match. And a clean break, which is nice. Haven't, you don't see that very often. And now just straight forearms because no one gives a shit. And another uh, collar and elbow tie up into the ropes. And another clean break. So far, up until the... Up until those forearms, the match had been pretty civil. Big take down there by uh, some chain wrestling going on. You never thought you'd see something like this. You know, ooh, big back fist. Usually that would knock a man out, but... And the neck breaker that we saw on the main event of SmackDown against Randy Savage. Again, like I mentioned before, man. You have to wonder what... You know, AJ Styles' mindset is after that loss with Randy Savage. I mean, the guy, you work so hard to become champion again, and you just get it taken away from you. Well, you don't get it taken away from you, but you just take a big loss like that against a man like Randy. It's just, it's, it's got to be a pain. And now, kicks and being held up by Brian for extra impact. Now he's just going to taunt them with the crowd. That's one thing Daniel Bryan can't do too much, man. He's facing against... He's facing the two-time World Heavyweight Champion. You don't want to be the guy to sleep on a, someone like that. Big kick reversal there by AJ into another reversal. A fireman's carry-esque reversal. And now into the turnbuckle you go. Endless times. Nay, nine. I guess that was the tenth one. That can't feel good. That's all steel behind those pads. And if you hit it just right at the right angle, shit. That's going to probably break your damn nose. And a big knee by AJ into Daniel Bryan's face. Nothing Daniel Bryan's got to be aware of is his neck issues. Obviously, we'll, we'll, t we'll take a look to see if it affects him as the match wears on. But who knows? And a clothesline into the turnbuckle, which actually could have hit the back of his neck. Again. So it's really hard to tell who has the uh, momentum right now or who has the upper hand. Much of these matches have been back and forth where you can't really tell. And then one... Oh, kicks. One, two, three, four, five... Six. The yes kicks. And the kick to the head. The signature of Daniel Bryan. And that can only mean one thing. The yes lock. Or even the big knee. We'll find out. But it looks like he's going for... The cross arm breaker? Don't know why, but fuck it. Big punch to the face there to break out. AJ's got to really get his head in the game now. He's come close to losing the championship twice. And of course, champion's advantage. We've seen this happen throughout the pay-per-view. Champions going to the outside to do more damage. As, there are more, as there's more fun things to do. Lots of extracurricular activities on the outside of the ring that champions could do to wear down their opponents or vice versa. And of course, and it counts at five, and Daniel Bryan's still stomping away. Seems like he has no regards for winning the championship at this point, but he is throwing the champion back into the ring, so I could be wrong about that. And now, we're going for the knee. The big knee, and he succeeds. Could this be the end of AJ Styles as champion? One, two... And a kick out. My lord. I'm shocked. I thought it was over. I really thought it was over. But I was wrong, thankfully. What in the hell was that? It missed. He's going for a clothesline, and he was just failed epically and forearm to the face there for his troubles. What is this? Stomp to the arm. I can't feel very good. Definitely going to hurt Dan O'Brien's ability to use the yes lock if he chooses to use it. What's he going for here? Phenomenal forearm? I guess. There it is. Phenomenal forearm busts open the challenger. 
Can you go for the pinfall? One, two, and a kick out by Daniel Bryan. Bloody battered, but not yet beaten. Daniel Bryan, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, jaw jacking once again to the crowd with his back turn as Daniel Bryan moves up and a roll up attempt. One, two. Oh my God, I thought he had it at that point. <laughs> I was gonna say, win a match with a roll up. Typical WWE logic here in EBCW as the comeback of AJ Styles. Big Pele kick there. I'm losing my voice. All this fucking yelling I'm doing throughout this pay-per-view recording. Going for the calf crusher. Calf crusher, but it's in the ropes and it's not going to happen. So we don't know if he's going to have the Styles Clash or he's not going to know if he has his finisher. One, two. AJ Styles has been on fire since he hit that uh, that phenomenal forearm onto the champ onto the challenger. The champion's on a roll, and he's going once again for his phenomenal forearm. But could he have done it one time too many? Phenomenal forearm to the face, to the bloodied face of Daniel Bryan. One, two, and another kick out. Wow. Again, bloody battered and still not beaten. Daniel Bryan. Dear God. This is just like the Lars Sullivan match. Two fucking finishers. And the guy still didn't go down. But of course, we gotta see how this match progresses and the elbow to the cut of to Daniel Bryan. One, two, and at this point he's just given him more momentum to have in terms of game mechanics. Elbow to the face there. That might be the turning point. Hurricanrana succeeds. And now Daniel Bryan's bleeding all over his chest. That's not good. One, two. Oh my god, I thought that delay, I was gonna be like, is he gonna kick out or is he gonna pin him? Oh my god, I don't know how he did that. And the yes knee. I don't know if that's what it's called, but the knee once again and hits its mark. Will it be will it give him the championship? One, two, and another kick out. Oh my god. You have to imagine Daniel Bryan's wondering what he has to do to beat this guy. I don't know what he has to do to beat this guy. He's calling for it. He's calling for a big move here. I don't know what he's looking for. It's Herkarana. Unbelievable athleticism. Sent to the ape sent to the turnbuckle. What's gonna happen here? I don't know. I guess he's getting to I guess a superplex attempt? Arm drag attempt from the top? I don't know. You guys see how this is gonna oh Herkaran off the top? Yep. Big move there. And the tide has turned to Daniel Bryan's favor. One, two, kick out there by AJ Styles. And the champion is still the champion. What's he got to do next? I have no clue. And a big reversal there. That's got to be good for AJ. And a calf crusher attempt might be in the ropes again. And it is. How unfortunate. It really is. You have to imagine that's definitely hurting him. I guess he just still doesn't have the finisher. I don't know. Maybe. If anything, AJ should go for the for the uh, Styles Clash, but he keeps going for the uh, phenomenal forearm. Now he's sent to the outside, and the count begins to the referee. Sent back into the ring. Oh boy, nice reversal there. Oh shit, what is this? Snap suplex there. Oh boy. Big reversal. I don't know what that I don't know what he was going for, but it was a big reversal and it looks like a Styles Clash attempt. Oh yeah. Might be over at this point, folks. Oh boy. Styles Clash. Can he retain? One, two, three, and still. AJ Styles. Let's look back on the My God. What a match that was. 
That was just phenomenal. Uh, no pun intended. That was a phenomenal matchup. I feel like I'm actually watching a matchup happen as I do these ma things. And it's just, it's really fun. I got to say, this is really fun. And we're still not fucking done. We still have the four-way ladder match and the Money in the Bank ladder match. And you can imagine the carnage that's going to take place throughout the course of that. I'm looking forward to it. I really am. That's where I thought the match was over. I thought it was done at that point. But those two guys, whew, special. Absolutely special. AJ Styles and still. What did I say before? The champion is still the champion? Well, AJ Styles is holding on to that title for a little while longer. Thank you all for watching that match. Phenomenal stuff. Once again, no pun intended. Coming up, the fatal four-way match for the Women's Championship. See you all then.